Governor, uh, so uh, announcing yesterday that yes. you intend to run for governor of Michigan. Yes. Why? Well, I think that people need a governor who is on their side. And families are still struggling here with a tough economy. And uh, when I, you know, I grew up in Michigan, lived my whole life here. Uh, my dad was a teacher, my mom was a nurse. I knew that if you worked hard and played by the rules, you'd have incredible opportunities. And I see that changing for too many people in our state. And you know, what, I, what ultimately decided, me, decided uh, uh, or convinced me to run was I saw Governor Snyder um, passing policies that are hurting the middle class. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, he's creating an economy that works for the wealthy and uh, many special interests, but aren't working for everyone. And I think ultimately we need an economy that works for everyone. And, and I think, you know, the most fundamental thing is investing in education. You know, I'm a product of public schools. My dad was a public school teacher. And, you know, I used to run Head Start. Uh, that's the single most important investment we can make. And when I see Governor Snyder cutting public education, uh, raising taxes on retirees, on, on parents raising kids, raising property taxes in order to give a tax cut, a $1.8 billion tax cut to corporations, uh, those are the wrong priorities for our state. So ultimately, uh, we need a governor that wakes up every morning thinking about how we can help our schools and how we can help rebuild the middle class. Now, you have to admit, though, over the last uh, two, three years, uh, things are better in Michigan if you look at the, the benchmarks like unemployment, right. uh, the budget. Uh, the deficits, things like that. I mean, yeah. they've all improved over the last three years. Yeah. Well, most of the rebound in Michigan's economy comes from the auto industry and those good manufacturing jobs, those good research and development jobs. And, you know, I was in Congress at a critical time when, and worked with President Obama to help rescue uh, the auto industry and, and the entire supply chain, which was at risk at that time. So, uh, you know, when you look at Governor Snyder's policies of big tax cuts to corporations, that's not what's creating jobs and fueling, fueling an economic growth in Michigan. And, um, you know, candidly, that's holding us back. Uh, Michigan's economic growth is slowing. Uh, our economic growth is slower than the national average. Uh, unemployment rate this summer for young people is expected to be 25%. Uh, you know, we are not uh, going in the right direction. I think uh, Governor Snyder's taking us down the wrong path. Um, you know, we need a, a new direction. And, and it's, it's, it's not, you know, the same old supply-side economics with, you know, tax cuts to corporation in hopes that it ultimately trickles down. I mean, we're, you know, we're a consumer-driven economy. And when you raise taxes on families raising kids, you raise taxes on retirees, that's directly taking money out of our economy and slowing our recovery. So as governor, would you reinstate the tax cuts on the pensions? Would you work to repeal right to work, some of these things yeah. that, that yeah. the governor's done? Well, I, I, I would definitely uh, eliminate the, the pension tax. Um, you know, again, it's, it's hurting our state. Uh, it's it's uh, um, uh, hurting the purchasing power of uh, retirees who we ought to be valuing, uh, and, and it's driving people out of state. Uh, and, and, you know, in, in terms of some of the other issues, you know, Governor Snyder said about right to work that it would be divisive for our state, and he was right. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, going back to the auto industry, you saw uh, historic collective bargaining agreements struck between the UAW and, and the, the Detroit Three Car Companies. It's really helped fuel um, uh, the, the resurgence of the auto industry. So, you know, I, I think, you know, it's just another example of uh, Governor Snyder listening to, um, you know, corporate special interests uh, enacting something that uh, they, they had no research that, that would be effective and he said would be divisive in the first place. So would you work to reverse the, the, uh, what's been done to right to work? Well, I, I absolutely. You know, it, it's not good for our state. And, um, you know, but, you know, Governor Snyder, you know, it's kind of interesting. Here on Mackinac Island, you know, he's, he's already had a fundraiser with... Um, uh, the DeVosses, um, Jeb Bush. Uh, Jeb Bush. Uh, you know, these are the people he listens to. You know, it's those same corporate interests over the middle class, over uh, our public schools, uh, over, you know, retirees in this state that, that unfortunately, um, you know, have been benefiting from his policies. And, you know, that's, uh, that's fundamentally not going to be good for Michigan's economy. So you'll have no wealthy donors? 
<laughs> we're going to have an army of, uh, of grassroots donors, and uh, you know this is this is a, uh, a, a grassroots campaign ultimately. I mean, I'm not going to raise uh, have as much money as Rick Snyder. I'm not a millionaire. Uh, you know, I'm a product of a, a, a public school teacher and a nurse, and uh, and my life has been in public service. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're going to have the resources necessary to run a winning campaign. Right now, it must feel good. You're, you're already up in the polls, and you just got in this yesterday. <laughs> Well, there's a long way to go, uh, but you know, ultimately, this is about uh, you know which path should we take in Michigan. You know, I, I you know, I love the state, and, and, and I, I, I see fewer and fewer opportunities for young people. Uh, you know, when we divest in, in public education, or they uh, uh, cook up uh, in secret these skunk works uh, projects for schools that take two thousand dollars away per pupil for some online education. Um, you know, a computer is not no replacement for a teacher. You know, so I'm here to fight for the state that I love and make sure that we can be a high wage, high skill state uh, uh, to be competitive in, in the global economy. Okay. I appreciate Great. that.